Hello and welcome to Let's Talk, a show about talking about games and everything surrounding it. Today on the show, I have Glenn. Hello. Glenn is joining me to talk about some game music. Uh, I felt that this was a bit more conversational and uh, all of that good stuff. So, without further rambling, let's talk. Glenn, I'm going to open the floor to you. Okay. What's a moment in a game um, with the music that you've just felt was awesome? Uh, well, I've always had a love for the Elder Scrolls series. Uh, my personal favourite being Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion. Uh, and I think the best moment in that game for me was the opening cinematic. The music in that is just phenomenal. It really sets the the tone for the whole game, I think, when you've got that sweeping score as you're coming round and you're looking at the Imperial City, I think it's just one of those perfect moments in game music, really. Did it make you, you know, want to want to do anything, like go out adventure or what? Um, well, I definitely kind of got the, the feel for the game. Um, in comparison to some of the other titles they've done, you know, uh, Skyrim, it's kind of started off a bit bland for mm. me, there, you know. You were just in a cart. <laughs> <laughs> there was no real cinematic to start with. Yeah, true. Exactly. But uh, I think with Oblivion, as soon as I saw that, I was like, "Yes, I want to go and I want to go and um, explore all these places that I've seen, and just you know make the most of it." Talking of Skyrim, um, <laughs> one of mine is Skyrim. The uh, the Skyrim theme. Yeah. It just comes in with Dovakin, Dovakin. That whole bit, it made, like you were talking about, it just made me want to go and explore the world. It was like, do you know what? I'm all powerful. I can go kill anything that I want. I'll run up to it and swing my sword at it. (laughs) And, you know, nothing can really stop me. And then you walk outside and a bloody mud crab eats you. But, (laughs) you know, that music was like, yeah, it made you feel empowered. Which I think is pretty incredible. Bethesda always managed to do a good job, I think, when it comes to the music. They don't mm. do what I think yeah. a lot of game companies do and just kind of leave it and hope that it writes itself. It is, I think, it's integral to their games. I do feel that music more recently has become a lot more looked at, which is which is cool because it means that you get more awesome moments. Which I think probably the company that, that has always done the best with music um like consistently it's probably rockstar oh yeah i would i would have to agree with you i mean red dead yeah red dead redemption the music in that is so atmospheric that yeah it really again the, the, the music is there to set the scene and i think that rockstar and bethesda have got it right in most cases yeah R- red dead's like perfectly captured the the whole idea of you know the western the whole western style it was all um i don't even know what instruments guitar i guess yeah yeah it was it was great i don't know it, it just it perfectly captured the atmosphere of the games mm. and i mean another another rockstar game max Payne 3 um with the soundtrack done by health i believe and uh that whole entire game is you know max Payne is constantly on painkillers so the world around him is very dull compared, right. and the music really sets that. I see. I, I don't suppose you've played Max Payne 3, have you? I haven't, no. Um, <laughs> I haven't played any of the Max Payne games, I know. Ah, uh, okay. But it would be one of those things that is on the list, really. <laughs> yeah. Well, the older Max Payne's actually did a beautiful job with their music as well. But yeah, um, and then obviously, you know, GTA, right? Um, talking about Rockstar. Um where it's not so much like music while you're playing, it's like, you know, you get into a car and you've got God knows how many radio stations. Yeah, that's actually a nice feature I found of a lot of games. Um, I think Saints Row, the radio on Saints Row, they had some some interesting channels on there. Uh, Saints Row 3, that is. <laughs> and that basically enabled you to set the scene yourself because you can go along murdering people to classical radio. <laughs> as as we've all done in Saints yeah. Row 3. Well, I mean... Or maybe just I do in Saints Row 3. Yeah, we have. <laughs> no, I think we pretty much all have. Yeah, I mean, that's Saints Row, right? Yeah. But yeah, the ability just to choose your own tracks, you know, t- to suit the, the, the style of music that you like, mm. is something that those games... You know, I don't think any other game really has. Yeah. It's, I mean, you can't, like, select your radio station of, like, horse sound <laughs> for Skyrim or... 
even Red Dead. You've just got what was given to you. What, what did you listen to the most? Or what channel in Saints Row, you mean? Uh, in Or in GTA or whatever. Uh, well, um, whenever I used to play uh, Saints Row, it would always be the classic channel, obviously. <laughs> but uh, another game I played a while ago uh, now was uh, APB. Uh, so there was a it was an online mm-hmm. um, cops and robbers essentially, but uh, yeah. in that you could actually upload your own music to listen to on the radio. So oh, that really cool. just added that extra extra element of you know you can set the scene yourself. Yeah, and it's, it's always good when you've got you know the crazy flog blowing out this, <laughs> out of your uh, speakers. You know, <laughs> thinking about radios actually. Um, mm. uh, well, going back to radios, uh, Fallout it had yeah. it has its own radio, doesn't it? It does. And I think it just makes it so much more atmospheric when you're wandering along listening to the radio. You know, you're just wasting ghouls while listening to, like, the ink spots or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it was very, like, kind of re- uh, true-to-era um, radio as well, which I quite like. It was. But it was also a good story element, because you could, over the radio, you could hear um, the, the broadcasters talking about your exploits on the radio. You know, Diamond City Radio, and they're talking about how you've changed... You know how you've progressed through the story and how things have changed for them. Cool. Exactly, yeah. I think it was quite a nice way of almost breaking the fourth wall. A yeah, bit. I mean, well, it's 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 not so much breaking the fourth wall. It's more like I mean, it's kind of veering off music here, but you know, it, it's it's making you feel like you've had an impact on the world, which which is nice. Yeah. Exactly. So you want you want something like that in a game rather than mm. just corridor. You know, this is your character. This yeah. is what you've done. Well done. Yeah, I mean, G- GTA 4 obviously did that. Um, 5 did as well, through the random kind of breaking news broadcasts. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, going back onto music, I, I, they're the games that I know you haven't played uh, or mm-hmm. much of, but you'll know the okay. music, the uh, the Halo theme tune. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, ov- obviously you haven't really played much Halo, but um, for me... Not, no. You know, whenever the Halo theme tune would come on or something resembling the Halo theme tune um, would start playing because they had kind of variations on it throughout the game, um, Mm -hmm. you would just feel like an unstoppable cyborg. And I say cyborg because grunts used to yell, Naughty cyborg! at you. It was (laughs) fucking hilarious. Yeah, like you just feel like just suddenly a thing in your brain would switch and every single like shot you fired would land it would be the perfect shot like everything would be a headshot you'd be dodging the grenades <laughs> left right and center or at least you felt like you did oh that's just me in real life bro yeah and to know that there's just the halo music it was like a do-do-do-do. it was a constant kind of beat i can't sing so i'll just do little random bits of songs because okay. i'm fun um mm-hmm. it's, yeah it's just like do 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 and it just built up and suddenly you'd just be like well I'm the best. Bye. You, know, <laughs> you just you just felt like quitting because it's like quit while you're ahead, but then you would eventually find the flood and die all the time. So that was fun. But I see. Yeah, it's just it always brought you up. It always made you feel excited, mm. which actually brings me on to Halo Reach, which I know is a game that lots of people didn't like, me included when it first came out. Um I've grown to, you know, kind of like it, but one specific moment in the it's either the first or the second mission i want to say first but i don't remember it's so you're you're going through a base and you've just had a little fight with um a uh, covenant with a, a, an elite with a sword um mm-hmm. so this is, as an elite zealot and um yeah you, you you then are put into a literal corridor but then this really awesome like guitar just goes meow like a car wow. driving past it's really awesome yeah. like an awesome guitar riff and then it's yeah it's absolutely incredible it's just you've just essentially been punched in the face by an elite <laughs> and then suddenly it's just like boom i'm awesome again i'm gonna murder everything that isn't human and that's just it was a really powerful moment because it was just i mean yeah it was empowering right all, all the music in halo that I love is always empowering. I suppose it needs to be, doesn't it? I mean, with the exception of, uh, in fact, going back to Halo One, when you first meet the Flood, it's like, it, it's a very kind of creepy, organic sounding. I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's really eerie. Um, okay. And it sounds, you know, you've you've also got the sounds of the Flood in the background, which is like squelchy, horrible noises. 
Mm. Um, but then the music also has like scratchy sounds to it, so you don't know. You know, it makes you really um, keeps you on your toes. Yeah, it keeps you on your toes, um, and you you don't actually know if that sound is the flood or not. And it's it's really awesome. On the list of games I have to play. <laughs> yeah. All the Halo ones. <laughs> All the Halo ones. So what what first person shooters have you like? Actual literal shooters, not just you know. RPG, which is mm. um, Fallout. Like, any awesome moments with them or anything like that? Well, I think um, the one that sticks in my mind, really, uh, is we've, we've, me and you have been playing um, a lot recently, Insurgency. Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> the feeling when that counter-attack music comes on, you just shit yourself, don't you? Because <laughs> that music comes on and you're like, oh crap, there's mm. going to be fucking wave of them coming over the hill now. Um, yeah. You better prepare to get like shafted by an RPG. <laughs> in, in the words of... Um, uh, I, can't, I can't remember who it is. Kaiser Chiefs? What's that coming over the hill? Is it a monster? Oh, it's just the Taliban. Yeah, just the Taliban. <laughs> a shitload of RPGs. So worse. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be the one. Where they uh, the, the primary weapon is, uh, of course, the RPG, and the secondary is the AK. <laughs> um, I think that's how it works. But yeah, no, that game, I think the music in that game is pretty good, because... I think a good stamp of quality for music on a game is that you don't notice it's there all the time. Mm. So I think with Insurgency, you don't notice it's there. And it just it slowly builds up throughout each um, each objective to the point where you've got the last man standing and it's so dramatic. <laughs> and he's just holding out against hordes of, you know, insurgents. And it just... <laughs> To watch, it's just awe inspiring sometimes. Or it or it could just it could just be like awful when you've got one guy left who's a bolt action sniper doing some serious close quarters shit. Were there any final final random, you know, games that or moments um of games, even no matter how shit the game is? Uh pff, probably Battlefield Three. The l- very last yeah. mission of Battlefield Three where you're running and gunning through the train. Oh yeah, um, yeah. And it's just blasting the uh, Battlefield Three theme tune. I thought that was pretty good. You know, you know, Wubs. Everybody hates the Wub Wubs. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one game that the Wub Wubs work in <laughs> is a uh, is Syndicate. Yeah, Syndicate. Okay, I've I've never played Syndicate. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's all right. Um, it, it's mm. a very bog standard game in every single way, except that you can hack stuff, which is quite nice. But yeah, I mean, um, it, it's like Cyberpunk, um, ish. Uh, but yeah, anyway, the the, the music, um, you know, everybody hates dubstep except the people that don't. Um, yeah. But yeah. dubstep really works in that game. It fits everything perfectly. Um, mm. I mean the 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 song that is like the trailer song for it um, is played when you're having a fight in a train station. So again, to the train station. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, it's just like blurting itself out and it's nice and noisy and obnoxious but it works in that area because mm. all the enemies are obnoxious as well they're just like I am an enemy and I'm going to blind you with my infinite weight <laughs> yeah it's it's really weird um, but I don't know that, that, that the soundtrack to that game no matter how much you dislike dubstep you will like not necessarily mm. to listen to but just through the game it just works with absolutely everything. And it's it's one of those moments that you don't necessarily hear it. I mean, after a while, you start drowning it out of your head. But mm. there are moments where it suddenly just picks up and it's just this wubbing explosion of <laughs> booms and tisses. Yeah, speaking of the wub wubs, I think Far Cry 3, um, there's a mission in Far Cry 3 where you just have to burn a load of weed. Oh, yes. <laughs> and it starts playing the... Um, oh, I can't remember what music is. But yeah, that's, that was quite that was quite interesting. That, that, ganja, that particular that ganja mission. theme. That, that ganja theme, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, oh, thinking about Far Cry actually. How can we forget Far Cry Three Blood Dragon with the the seventies vision? No, the eighties vision of now. <laughs> 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 it it had uh, so it's, it's soundtrack by Power, by Power Glove, and I absolutely fucking love it. It's mm. it's like Terminator esque, you know, um, apocalyptic. Um, I don't even know what it's what it is, but it's like electronic stuff. It's incredible. Mm. It's it really fits the aesthetic. I mean, you know, you've seen Terminator, right? I have, yeah. Yeah, so you know the music in those sort yeah. of sci-fi shows from that era. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I got you. Sorry, it's, you have to. You have to. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's, it's that essentially but not yeah it's it's that sort of style of of like the terminate music but it just works perfectly and it's like turned Mm. up to 20 at some points 
Because, I mean, Blood Dragon is ridiculous. Blood Dragon is stupidly moronic. Like, you've got fucking laser dragons. Like, dragons that fire <laughs> lasers out of their eyes. Like, the, the... What? But... Logic went to shit with that game, I'm guessing. Yeah, exactly. But it was awesome. <laughs> but, you know, the, the, the music just kind of builds up and it just takes the Terminator thing, kind of takes dubstep and, like, electronic and all, all of that sort of stuff. I have no idea what the genre names are. Um, even mm. uh, I think EDM is probably in there at some point, like some influences from it. But, mm-hmm. you know, it just cranks the whole, you know, 70s sci-fi music up and just goes, we're now modern while also sounding old. And it's just really, it's a, it's a really awesome mix. Yeah. And uh, you just get some moments where, you know, it's like the, like just before the do 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 because that's, that's usually the end or the start, but for example yeah. the end you've just got this really long like opening bit that sounds like hope and it's just like dun 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 dun, dun. for some reason i go into game of thrones going into game of thrones there yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah you've just got that like really awesome bit that gives you hope and then suddenly it's just like dun 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 dun, dun. but in in blood dragon it's that and you're like looking over a cliff. You're looking at this awesome, like um, this awesome landscape of just like mm. neon. I don't know what color it is. Purple. Just it's just neon. <laughs> yeah, just neon. Yeah. And and there's just a dragon like walking along, and you've just got this like crescendo, and then suddenly it just stops, and you're like, well, shit. <laughs> but but if you were to pick your favorite music moment in any game, what would it be? That's my job to do that. Fuck you, Glenn. But what would it be, Spazzled? What would it be? Um, so it, it's it's obviously going to be Halo. I mean, if anybody knows me, it's it's that I'm one of the biggest Halo nerds that I know, and I only know me, so that's not really saying much. But mm. yeah, like just just the Halo music overall. I buy every single um, soundtrack for Halo just because I love the music. Fair enough. I'm driving around and like the Halo theme tune will come on, but not just any Halo theme tune, the Milner mix, which is the Halo 2 Halo theme tune, which is just like metal to the max. It's awesome. And gotcha. yeah, that just comes on and I'm just like, I could run over everybody right now. I'm <laughs> going to. And then I accelerate too fast. And crash. Yeah. Given that, you know, the proof experience I've had of you driving in armor, particularly, is we will be driving and then we'll be dying. That seems to be what I remember. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to throw the question back at you now because you so insubordinately threw it at me. What's your favourite moment? Well, when you first approached me and said, oh, we're going to do this um, chat about game music, the first thing that came to mind was the Oblivion intro cinematic. Mm. So that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> um, that's my favourite moment. Yeah. Uh, but I think the music in that game is just great. You know, if you're pottering around in Coral or, you know, Anvil and you've got that nice, nice kind of piano... Um, looty type music playing it's just you know it's brilliant yeah fair enough so that's uh that's all of the dope ass music that's what kids say these days right apparently i wouldn't know <laughs> um i'm not down with the kids anymore <laughs> i say anymore ever <laughs> <laughs> the dope ass kicking beats of the music dough bro in it though um yeah so now that we've destroyed our credibility um is there any final points uh, no, but is there anything you want to plug? Anything I want to plug? I'm going to try and get a very alpha 0.1 or 1.0 or whatever the fuck out for my Skyrim mod that I've been working on. So keep your eyes open for that. To to you know, quote El Murray, it's going to be a bit shit, but bear with it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> um, more details to follow on that within the next sort of few months. If you don't want to like, then give me a like. But if you don't, then don't. Give me a dislike. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Give me a dislike and destroy my credibility. That sounds that sounds like fun. Yeah. Everyone do that. No, don't don't do that. That would be mean, but also funny. I mean, if I'm shit, then sure, dislike me. But I mean, yeah, obviously, like, like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for listening and watching. See ya. <laughs> thanks for listening and watching, guys. Have a good time. <laughs> <laughs>